Hello, this is Roosevelt Davis of RooseveltDavis.com. This message is, can you start wrong in your weight loss efforts and your business effort? And today, WeightLossGoals.com. The answer to this question is, is yes, you can start wrong. Yes, because if without a goal, right, you don't know what your beginning is going to be and you don't know what your end is going to be. Without these two systems in place, guess what? you just running around trying to do a weight loss and trying to lose weight. And um, one of my buddies, and we were speaking uh, candidly, and that I was telling him that I need to follow a guideline of 0.43 ounce a day. I said, 4.3 ounce a day? What is that equates to? I said, it, it actually equates a little less than 15 pounds a month. You know that to that detail? I said, you have to when you have a goal to lose 15 pounds in one month. And without it, you're going to eat the wrong stuff. You know, you're going to eat, drink the wrong stuff. You're not going to follow the guidelines. And you may not eat enough food to do what your body needs to do. I said, well, a person who weighs 275, right? He used to eating junk and junk food, chips, and everything else, and fried food, hamburgers, french fries, I mean, loading up on uh, lots of carbs. And once you lose that five pounds, you get excited. Once you lose the other 12 pounds, you, you know, seven to eight pounds, you get excited. And when you lose, gain a pound back, you get distraught. And then you say, just bump it off. Let me just go ahead and go all for it. This is not working. But contrary to belief, your goal, you didn't set a goal at all. And if you did an average goal, right, a point four, like I did, point four three, nothing is saying this is simple, almost less than a half a pound a day. When I did that goal, then I realized what I have to adjust. And I'm gonna eat uh, a key lime pie like me and my wife did yesterday, you know, because we went to the Bonefish Grill. And uh, if I'm gonna eat the additional fries, I know what I gotta do. The exercise and how how um, uh, how many calories in the fry, calories, the fries bunches that I ate, you know. And then I know I have to lean off fries this week. No fries, no fried food, a lot of baked food, a lot of fish, and a lot of drinking my tea, my uh, eight ounces of tea. I know that I have to follow protocol. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know cheap food is. Some of you may say that's that's insane, right? But cheap food is cheap for a reason. And when you eat cheap food, cheap food goes to two parts of your body: your stomach and your ass. Once it go to your stomach and ass, your ass. <laughs> It's gonna be hard to get off, and it's, it's, I mean, you can't, you can't get rid of it. It's gonna be detail on your body. What does this have to do with business as well? Well, since I'm in a profitable business, right? I have to do the numbers. I write down the numbers each and every day, so I follow the same guidelines and principles as I lose weight. Right, as doing business, I write down the sales projection, the goal for the month, how much gas to take to do it, uh, stationary flyers, etc., etc., and the food that I eat, consume each and every day for my body to lose weight. So I write all this down. So I said, if I'm gonna eat something good, I need to make this type of money to get to that level to buy the food that is unnecessary for my body. 
Now, you may say, I have a budget already, Roosevelt, and I follow my budget to the T. Well, I'm a business owner, and the only way a business owner knows how to increase their money by getting more sales. So they go out there and get more sales to increase their bottom line to do what they want to do. As an employee, you cannot do that. That's not, it, it could be achievable with a second job, but it's not achievable if you're looking for more sales to increase um, your budget line or what you want to accomplish. And now, most of you might be looking at this as, um, this, this can be accomplished, and this may not be something that you can accomplish. But if you get more aware of what your goal is and what your income level should be for that month to set the goal or your weight loss goal, then you're more aware on each and every day. I'm not telling you to get on scale every day and look for that .43 or .47, whichever it may take to lose that 15 pounds. But also understand that without a goal, you will never know what to do. This is Roosevelt Davis of RooseveltDavis.com and today WeightLossGold.com. Go over there to my Facebook page. Go over there to um, TodayWeightLossGold.com and go check out the products that we offer to help you achieve a goal to lose weight. And also, by losing weight, you can learn how to join to be a member on our website to learn how to make money. Yeah, make that money. So, hey, I want to be able to uh, be your cheerleader to help you out along the way to, so you can achieve the goals that you want to achieve in life and business. And uh, I hope this video message helps you each and every day. I'll holler at y'all later. Peace, love, holla.